Hey film friends, today we have another episode of a test roll with the Libertel TLR. Is the spoon in the right place? The spoon is there. I mean, is that how you roll it? No, you, you, you try which side it is to turn. Wait, turn it this way. Oh, wait. You turn this one, right? Yeah, so the spool so has to be there. Alright. It's out. Okay, this comes out, so make it easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. <laughs> the, the spring here holds the film roll in place and makes it flat. Which is kind of interesting. So, as you can see, I'm having some trouble with loading this little thing because uh, it's actually my first time seeing or touching it. The Lubatel 2 is a Russian-made TLR that was mass-produced in the 60s to the 80s. It's a largely plastic body with metal knobs and thankfully glass lenses which should produce sharper images. The Lubatel, although it looks like a toy camera, provides more functionality as compared to a Hoga So we went out to a photo walk with the Singapore Instagrammers at the Tangling Hawk Estate and this estate was actually established in the 1950s to the 60s which is coincidentally the same period of time in which the Lubitel 2 was in production. So the Lubitel is a fully manual camera with no built-in light meter and the shutter speed range is only from bulb to one. 250th of a second and a maximum aperture of f4.5. These limitations kind of restrict you to shooting films of up to ISO 200 in bright daylight and higher if it's in lower light conditions. This ISO exposure also ensures that you have a fast enough maximum shutter speed to prevent overexposure in bright daylight based on the Sunny 16 rule. The Lubitel 2 shoots 120 film in a 6x6 format which gives you 12 shots per row. Personally, I find this a bit little as compared to my Mamiya 645 which gets me about 15 shots per row. How do I shoot this? Okay, the shutter again? You must cock first. Yeah, I cock to you. Okay. The shutter is also manually cocked, so you have to remember to do that, especially if you're shooting street and you don't want to miss a moment. The film also has to be manually winded to the next position as there's no auto stop to indicate the next frame. However, because of its plastic body and very light weight, it still feels very much like a Hoga or toy camera. The waist level finder on this camera is rather quirky as compared to other TLRs. So first, uh, similar to other TLRs, um, when you look through the waist level finder, basically movement is reversed, left is right, right is left, up is down, down is up. And when looking through it from a distance, it looks like a small square with the corners cut off but as you bring your eye closer to the camera, the finder image becomes a circle so this kinda makes it harder for you to frame your entire square image when you're just looking through a circle. This camera kind of forces you to slow down your photography process. For me personally, it took a while to frame and focus my shots as well as you always have to remember to manually cock your shutter before taking a shot there are no auto exposure modes or aperture priority on this camera so exposure has to be fully controlled by you either with a light meter to help or a okay. phone app and it's all done so how's the camera experience all in all, the Lubitel 2 is a rather cheap way to get started shooting medium format and with a twin lens reflex. The plastic body makes it easy to carry around all day because you will not feel the weight on your shoulders. But um, focusing and framing on 
this particular TLR takes some getting used to and after you've gotten through the initial phase it should be fine images from this camera are surprisingly sharp for what it's worth so that's it for today's sharing and let us know what you think if you used a similar camera before do tell us about your experience in the comments below and as we have come to the end of yet another video as usual like the video if you enjoyed watching it share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this until the next one bye